Hi, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Olina and I'm a native from Norway. And today I want to start filming for a week of knitting or a week in my life. Those are some of my favorite videos to film just because they remind me to just capture the beauty of everyday life. And I also think it's really fun just to show all of the small ways I get my stitches in throughout the day. So that's what I'm going to do this week. Today is Thursday, so I'm going to go until it's been a week. Um, and for most of this week, I'm also going to be home alone with my toddler. So we'll see how that affects my knitting time. Hopefully not too much because I have quite a few projects I want to finish and even more I want to cast on, but I think we can just get into my current projects that I'm starting the week out with and I have all of them in this douchebag bag I got from my sister. So first on we can start with the most boring one. Here is my mini Augustine's number one by Augustine's DK. And this is not a boring knit, but the boring part about this is that I've unfortunately run out of yarn. I have finished working in the round uh, and I am on the border part of it. And I thought I was going to finish it quite quickly because the border, once you have gotten there, the, you're almost at the finish line. But then I ran out of yarn, so now I'm just so disappointed I ran out of yarn. I haven't even ordered more yarn yet, but I'm going to do that as soon as possible. And then hopefully I'll get more yarn to be able to at least continue working on this this week. And then I have um, this skein here. It's not, as you can see, it's not active active yet. But I'm going to cast on immediately after filming this. Um, and this is Merino DK by Hedgehog Fibers and it's in the color Mayday. And this is the color, as you can see, it's just a beautiful skein with lots of colors. So I'm super excited to work with this. And I think since this is such a colorful thing, I think it's going to be a really cool hat and I only have one hat and that's a bit too little for the climate where I live so I'm going to make myself a hipster hat using this and I'm super super excited I only hope that the gauge will be correct and that I'll have enough yarn but I think it's going to work out so super excited to be working with this and I think after casting this one on it's going to be my main project just because it's going to be so fun. I'm probably not going to be able to put it down. And then another project. This is my current main project. It's the Willems overalls. Um, and I'll show a picture of completed one here just so you can kind of see where I'm at. And I've started on the ribbing. This is the smallest size and I'm using Drops Merino Extra Fine. I'm on my uh, almost finished my second skein and this uses about two and a half skeins so I'm very nearly finished so hopefully this will be done today so I can use all my attention to knit up my hipster hat um, yeah this is a gift knit as is the blanket this is by petite knit the hipster hat is by petite knit and then I have another selfish knit so two selfish nets and two gift nets. I don't think that's too bad. And this is the Never Sweater that I'm test knitting for Copicale. Here is how far I've gotten. As you can see, it's quite a large oversized sweater. I'm knitting it in Drops Lima in the color Orchid. My goal for this for the week is to at least finish one sleeve and then hopefully work a bit more on the body and if I'm super lucky I'll even have started on the second sleeve but this one is a very very large 
large project. It's very oversized. There's lots of stitches. So this is taking me quite some time, especially since I'm working on all the other projects as well at the same time. But yeah, those are my knitting plans for the week. Hopefully I'll get through them because I have more projects that I want to cast on. But time will show, time will tell. Um, but yeah. Hope you will want to spend this week knitting with me. And I'll catch you in the next update.
as you maybe can see, I've just finished my second project this week, which means we're off to a great start. This is the hip strat that I've knit with hedgehog fibers in the color Mayday. Um, but my one problem, it is super, super, super cute and so comfy, so soft. I love it. It looks even better on, I think. But I realized when I was starting the decreases that I've knitted with the wrong needle size. I still finished it just to see. <clears throat> and I still don't know if I'm going to go back. Um, if I haven't gone back, if I haven't made my mind up. Um, throughout this video, please tell me what you would do. I've knit this on a 4mm instead of a 3.5mm. I suck at reading patterns. I didn't read this pattern except for how many stitches to cast on and then I just cast it on. Um, don't know, I just... I've even made these patterns quite a few times before. My son has three of these and I've made myself one and everything so I don't know but I just messed up and as you can see it still fits but it is a lot looser than it would be so I'm afraid if I like move around or wash it when I move around it comes up above my ears which isn't great for something that's going to keep my ears warm um, and also if I wash it I'm afraid it will get like way too big but it is really soft and comfortable um i don't know and i also don't know if the problem would be solved if i went down the needle size or if it just would rise above my ears anyway because it is a very soft yarn so the friction between this and my hair is not a lot so it just easily glides off i guess that could also be why but yeah it's finished and it looks absolutely stunning i am in love and but you can also see it flares it the gauge is just a bit off and you can see if i pull on it it's just way bigger than it should be <laughs> and i'm a bit sad about that and honestly a bit tempted to rip it back just to make it perfect because hello this yarn is 10 out of 10 i love it so i would want what i make with it to be 10 out of 10 but that would also mean that all of this knitting time is just for nothing and that's quite sad but i just don't know because having knit something that you don't use as much is also a waste of resources but I don't know this is me really just me rambling on about not knowing <laughs> but yeah it's at least done I've also finished the Willems overalls I don't have them here with me but I've also finished those since the first time we talked um but yeah at least I'm happy with the Willems, this one. How I'm feeling now, I think it's going to get frogged. I think it is. It's just too loose and I want it to be... I want it to fit like snugly around my head so it stays put. Um, I don't know, maybe this is why you should read the patterns and also gauge swatch. Um, do what I say, don't do what I do, but yeah, I will just have to think about it a bit. Um, if I end up not frogging it, I'm just going to continue working on my never sweater. If not, I'm going to make this again just immediately so it doesn't end up as a U for anything. Also, what should I do with this? Is it enough to make another one? like a baby sized one or maybe it would be great for the baby bear bonnets. I think this would be a really interesting baby bear bonnet. I have to think a bit about that as well. Um, it will probably take less yarn if I knit it on a small, 
learn needle as well for this but at least I know the result is great because I think it looks I think it looks really great it just there's something a bit wrong about it but it is really comfortable to wear I think maybe some of this is going to get cut because now I'm just here rambling to myself about the fit of this but um, maybe I'll wear it from the, for the rest of the evening and see how I feel then um, maybe you won't see any of this at all but yeah this is the finished beanie at least it's finished so far and then we'll just see how we go from here
why I wanted to do a little update. I was originally going to film this update when I was done putting my son to sleep, but I fell asleep with him and then I woke up three hours later and now it's almost 11 p.m. So this is quite a late update, but I did get three hours of sleep. Um, as you've seen, I finished the villums and and there's nothing more to say about those really. They're finished, they're fine. And I finished my weekend hat and I did wear it yesterday um, outside and I haven't weaved in any ends. I just wanted to wear it first to see how I felt wearing it over a longer period of time. And I've decided that I'm going to keep it as is. It felt completely fine to wear, it fits. Uh, nicely, it's warm, it's pretty. I don't really see any backs to it being in a bigger needle size. Uh, and if it were to stretch at a later date, I could rip it back and knit it again then. But as it is now, this is how I'm leaving it. And then, um, my biggest problem this week, this week has really not started out on a great note knitting related, knit the hat on the wrong needle and the never sweater. I had to rip back all of the work I'd done on the body and almost a whole sleeve and rip back quite far into the raglan as well. But I've been working on this, this only for the last, I think it's two days today. I think it's two days today that I've been working on this tirelessly since I frogged back and I'm almost back on track. I'm back on track when it comes to the body because I just wanted that out of the way first and now I'm working on the sleeve and I think it looks much more proportional now that I am doing it with the right amount of stitches. Let's see, I can show you how much yarn I have left. Um, this is how much yarn I have left until I'm back on track. So that's my goal for tonight. But my other goal for tonight is to go to bed at a reasonable hour because last night I didn't go to bed at all. I've really been wanting to get this back on track and a bit tired of it. So when I'm back on track and if I can't use all of this to do the whole ribbing, I'm also going to do that. But once the sleeve is finished, I'm going to take a little break because I've worked on this a lot. I think the amount of yarn that was frogged back, I think that was five or six skeins worth of yarn. So I've worked a lot on this. There's very many stitches that has been done, very many meters of yarn. I need a little break. So I am either going to knit up some very cute, tiny, super tiny socks just for the immediate uh, reward of finishing those because they take me, they don't take me very long, so I can get like the immediate satisfaction of a finished project. Or I was thinking I could start working with another skein of like more special yarn just to. Uh, reward myself a bit for working on this after frogging um, and the, that's the second option and the third option would be knitting Williams overalls for my son because that's such a safe pattern for me. I've done it a lot even though I'm bad at reading patterns. Uh, I never mess up a Williams so that's also a possibility. But I'll just have to see where I'm at with this. My hope, of course, would be to get to knit on something else tonight, but it is already quite late and I'm trying to be better at going to sleep. It's not going very well, but I'm going to try it today. Um, but yeah, I just really wanted to show that I'm almost back on track and yeah, super excited to get this sleeve finished now. I've almost knit it a whole two times, so at least they say the yarn is free when you knit with it the second time. 
uh, talking about that. Um, speaking of that, I mean, um, I'm going to break my yarn ban again. I've been talking to a few different people about Christmas gifts that's closing up and of course I want that uh, skein for the blanket I'm knitting so I thought since I have to pay for shipping I could just buy all the yarn at once at least all the yarn for the Christmas gifts I know I'm going to make so probably going to do that today or tomorrow too so I can maybe get the yarn this week that would be nice um, my goal <laughs> of being under 10 kilos this year before New Year's Eve. Um, that's not happening, but hopefully next year I can <laughs> focus on stash busting. This year has kind of been the year of gift knitting and when you're gift knitting you have to get like specific yarn and that hasn't worked out very well, but next year I hope to be able to just stash bust a lot, get this stash down. I have so many exciting projects in here that I just haven't found the time for. Um, but next year is definitely going to be all about that, hopefully, but yeah, that's my little update and my son is sleeping in the room right next to here, so now I'm going to go be quiet and hopefully don't wake up him and knit on this and hopefully finish. <laughs>
been a while since last I talked. I can't really remember what I talked about but I thought I'd just do a little update because I've knit a lot since then. I didn't know how much I was going to be able to knit this week since I am alone with my son but he's been going to bed pretty early in the night and then I've been going to bed super 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 late like most of the time 4am so I've just been getting very little sleep, but a lot of knitting time, so I thought I could update. I've, uh, I can start with the thing I've finished, and I think I showed you that green yarn I wanted to knit with. Um, it's Anna May lace, chunky merino or something, I think, in this lovely green color. And this almost turned into so many different things. Uh, my original idea was the terrazzo neck junior for my son because I thought this color would just be lovely for that. But when I cast on, I just immediately felt that the yarn was just too chunky. It didn't feel right. It didn't look right. It, I was just not vibing with it. So then I started looking at patterns with a larger gauge and I thought maybe I'll do a November balaclava but my son has quite a few of those so then I thought I don't have any balaclavas I would quite like a balaclava I can try to make this into a balaclava for me try that the gauge was okay but I just didn't like the stitch definition I was getting I thought the stitch ended up looking quite flat because of the superwash merino so I ripped that back and then I was like, I'm not finding any patterns I'm vibing with that I want this green yarn to turn into. So I just decided to do kind of an in-between, I guess, because I was thinking about a neck, but I did a scarf. And this way I got to use up absolutely all of the yarn as well. This is all of the yarn I had and it's a scarf that fits me like this and that fi fits fine and then it would also probably be able to fit my son because it isn't that large it would just go 
multiple times around. It hasn't been washed or blocked yet, but I kind of hope it stretches out a little bit because it is quite thin now, but if you get it to like almost double, I think that would be a very nice scarf. Um, and yeah, it was just nice to eliminate some of my stash uh, yarn and it was a really nice just dopamine project really because I cast it on late one night and then I cast it off early another night so it took me under 24 hours to make and it was just really easy it's uh, double ribbing if you can see that double ribbing and double ribbing to me it's just really fun kind of mindless and I think the progress you see with double ribbing um, at this point right now I think I almost prefer double ribbing to stockinette it's just I'm really vibing with double um, double ribbing lately it's just 10 out of 10 so that's something I've made and then I can show this thing here so I am knitting up a quite big gift for twins and I'm very nearly finished i have a couple of projects done and i have that blanket that i need to get the yarn for i really hope i get the yarn now before um the weekend because if not i have to wait the whole weekend and i'm growing very impatient <laughs> um but yeah while waiting on that i've been knitting up just the last few accessories and here are the very first sunday sock of the first pair and then I've barely started on the second one, so I kind of hope to finish that tonight. And it's now 10 p.m., so if I stay up till 4, I will be able to finish the other pair as well. But I'm trying to be responsible, trying to go to bed at least like 1 a.m. But then I could probably finish this sock and at least one other sock. So maybe I'll try to do that. I'm knitting that in Drops Lima in the color Chalk and then the other pair of socks is going to be Drops Lima in the color Almond. So these are going to be the socks and then after that I only have one accessory left that I'm definitely doing and then I'll probably gift knit for these twins throughout their whole life but this is like what's going to be gifted now. Um, I don't have that much more time either so it's good that I'm finishing up now but the last thing is that I'm going to be making Monday balaclavas I think in the smallest size either one to three months or three to six months but I'm going to be making it in sage green and light grey in Drops Bebe Merino um, just a really nice basic balaclava I think that would be nice in winter so hopefully if I don't get the yarn before the weekend, I hope to be done with all the other projects so I can just get through that blanket, block it, blah 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 blah, weave in all the ends and then I hope to actually send the gift um, next week. So um, yeah, I have to finish up everything because I also really want to take pictures of everything together before chipping it off and I would also like to do a special video dedicated to it just because I've used a lot of my t knitting time knitting up this gift and I just wanna like document the whole gift I think that would be really nice but so I'm just stressing to get everything done so I can send it as soon as possible but my last update this is a very exciting update I think is my never sweater and this has also gotten a lot of progress because this is uh, this has become the pro uh, the project I bring with me when I go to my parents, which I've done a lot this week. Um, so I can knit on this, uh, and it's what I knit up on in the daytime when my son is awake, because it's just very easy to soccer net in the round. So that has meant that this has gotten a lot of progress, so finished the first sleeve, and then just now I finished the second sleeve as well so now I'm just working on the body and as you've seen uh, last I tried it on I don't have that much more to go on the body before I start the ribbing and I'm going to do a split hem so I'm super excited about that as well and 
I kind of want to work on this tonight because I think if I just worked on this and went to bed quite late it would be done but I also feel like I have to work on the twin gift knit because that has more of a like deadline and a sooner deadline but yeah here is the blanket it's just laying here waiting on me uh, I wish 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 to have the yarn because I really want to finish this and block it oh I'm itching to work on this because now it's just been laying here waiting for over a week I think um, so that's just kind of frustrating but hopefully my yarn will get here Friday that's what I'm hoping for um, but it's not looking great so I'll just work on my other projects while I wait but um, yeah we'll see but yeah that's my little update now I'm going to get back into knitting knitting all of these things all at once very bad I get too many whips but yeah enjoyed this vlog um, of a week in my life this is what it looks like when I'm home alone and it's super cold outside I hope it wasn't too boring and too repetitive but this is everyday life um, I thought I'd just show you what I knit this week um, so just a quick roundup at the end, these are the Willems I knit right at the start. Um, and then I have the hipster hat that I also knit fairly early on. And the scarf I knit. And then yesterday I did actually finish both of the pairs of Sunday socks. Um, so... After this week, I definitely have quite a job of weaving in ends, but I am almost finished with the twin um, gift net. I don't have the blanket here to show. I haven't gotten the yarn yet. Um, probably will get it Monday. So I haven't gotten to work anything on that, but I have started on the first Monday Balaglava, um, just barely. So, hoping to finish that today or tomorrow. Um, and then I have the Never sweater that I haven't worked on since I showed it last time. But I only have a few centimeters and a ribbing to go on that one. So, this week has been really productive when it comes to knitting. But it's come at a price. I've slept very 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 little um quite tired it's been very cold um it's just been yeah it's really been a winter week and we've had snow for quite some time but this week also the really cold temperatures came it's probably going to get colder but now it's cold it's about uh, negative 20 degrees and that's cold enough at least I think um, but yeah I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please leave a like and a comment that means the world to me if you want to catch up with me more regularly go follow me on instagram at strikoline and if you want to see more from me please subscribe bye